Welcome everyone, today finds me on Route 66, the Mother Road, as I head from Wisconsin all the way down to Austin, Texas. I actually have no plans, but we may stop along the way, and I'm just stopping for gas. You can see all the Route 66 indicators behind me at the store. So stick around, I have no idea what's coming, but I'm sure it's going to be fun. Here's an interesting wall commemorating the history of Route 66. There you see Al Capone and Elvis Presley, the king, said he often traveled from Chicago to Oklahoma, which I didn't realize. And of course, the famous TV series from the 60s, Route 66. Look at all this paraphernalia of what you can find along Route 66. There it says, go for cozy dogs since 1949 in Springfield. And down there, you can see some of the cozy dogs. Look at them snuggling up together, getting cozy. There's some magnets, Route 66. There's one that says the Mother Road. And you know it's not a gift shop if it doesn't have a shot glass. This looks neat. New historic Route 66. They are trying to revive it, aren't they? I don't know what's in here, but it would sure be interesting to get a book like this and follow it around. Here's another historic Route 66 book. I'm calling this a historic three, the Lincoln Highway, Route 66, and the Dixie Highway. Well, let's get going, we have more to see. I thought I was leaving this behind when I left Wisconsin for Texas. But look at this, snow in Austin, Texas. Not a lot, but there's enough to cover the cars. Now we're in Dallas, where you find me at historic Dealey Plaza. This is a place of history, a place of tragedy. Behind me is a street where President John F. Kennedy was assassinated. I've done videos from here before. Right up there, that window is where Lee Harvey Oswald shot the president as his car moved down this street. And across the street is a famed grassy knoll. And that platform right there, I've been here several times. I even stood at that point. That is where Abraham Zapruder shot his famous Zapruder film of the assassination. And that X right there on the road, that marks the spot where the president was first shot. And as we move down the road, you will see a second X in the road right there. And that's where the fatal shot took place. And right at the end is what's known as the triple overpass where some people were watching as the president's motorcade moved down and saw the assassination from that vantage point. Dealey Plaza has been designated a National Historic Landmark. This site possesses national significance in commemorating the history of the United States of America. We'll walk up to this location on this pillar is where Abraham Zapruder stood as he took the now infamous Zapruder film. I've climbed up there many times, but let's do it now and show you the perspective he got. So this is it. The presidential motorcade came around that corner, right about here where the president first shot. There used to be a street sign sticking up right here. So the film missed that and then it followed it right down. Really a fascinating, interesting, and historical perspective being at this very spot that, uh, that that unbelievable film was taken. Eight millimeter film that became um, a part of history. He did sell it to Life Magazine initially for $50,000 and that was just for the print rights so they could show uh, still shots in the magazine. 
And later on, they bought all the rights, including theatrical rights and broadcast rights for $150,000, which I imagine in 1963 was an awful lot of money. And this is the Grassy Knoll, where a lot of people think some other shots may have been fired. And right behind me, that fence, that picket fence, some people claim there may have been a shooter right there, the edge of that picket fence. Let's walk back there. So here we're walking up behind this fence. Now understand, a lot of these trees and bushes may not have been here. Could be a pretty clear shot looking through here, but I kind of doubt it. We are so close. There were people standing on these stairs. I'm only about 12 feet away. Someone would have noticed. Now I'm on top of the triple overpass. Let's see the view from up here. There it is. There's the school book depository. This is a road he would have come down. If you look carefully, you can see the X marks in the road. And to the left, right over here, is the grassy knoll. There's a lot of smoke over there. I imagine that's where all these fire trucks you've been hearing and seeing are heading off to. Here's something interesting. There's a sticker for Flat Earth Research. I've always gone with the theory that it's a sphere, isn't it? A globe. Here's an overview. This is a grassy knoll here. The motorcade would have come this way, turned, and came down the street. And there's where Oswald was, and there's where the president was hit. I did need a new cowboy hat because mine, well you've seen me walk around in a cowboy hat, kind of got smashed. This is the store that I originally bought that hat, oh I'd say three or four years ago. So I came back to get another one. And boy, does this place scream Texas? Or what? Yeah. I mean, they're both living in but I've had some This is real Texas. Time to stop for gas. Where are we? We're at Bucky's. Bucky's is a Texas chain of gas stations. I would call it a truck stop, except trucks are not allowed here, but this place is huge. I was at one, I don't know, a year or two ago. I was going to vlog it. I got all kinds of footage and I never did. So maybe I'll turn that footage into a vlog at some point, but right now I'll give you a quick overview of what a Bucky's looks like. It's unbelievably huge. Look at all these gas pumps. And there's more on this side. It goes on forever. And look at this, you can buy glasses with kissy mouths on them. On this side, an entire grocery store. And in this direction is everything else, including barbecue, bakery, fudge. If you can't find your favorite drink here, you're not looking hard enough. And they just have cases of beef jerky. And you can even take home a little bit of Bucky. I don't suppose you want one that big. But this little guy is kind of cute. Looks like an invasion of Bucky's. It's a pretty cool Bucky mobile. An old Chevy. Hats, stickers, what are these? Bucky buttons? Oh, Bucky magnets. You know what I always say, if it doesn't have a shot glass, it's not a gift shop. And this Texas shot glass is $4.99. You even get Bucky onesies 
in any size. I don't think it's for me. I have to find myself some lunch. Maybe a brisket sandwich, who knows. It's big, it's bold, Texas size brisket. And that's what I'm getting. Now I'm in Denison, Texas. And look who's behind me. None other than President and General Dwight D. Eisenhower. It is a massive statue of the President and General himself. And it looks like he's in his military outfit here. Denison, birthplace of President Eisenhower. President Dwight D. Eisenhower Veterans Monument. I don't know how tall it is, but I'd say it's a good 25 or 30 feet tall. With the flags of our nation and the military behind him. Some gave all, all gave some. Military Order of the Purple Heart. That's a great tribute to our president, but we've got more ground to cover, so let's get heading out. Right now, I am in O-K-L-A-H-O-M-A, -A Oklahoma, and I want you to see what's behind me. It is a giant, I mean giant, this puts uh, muffler men to shame, a giant Indian. This thing, I'm gonna have to jump across the water here to get a full view of this. And yes, there's snow here. But look at the size of this. My goodness gracious. I don't know if this represents a specific tribe, but this is one of the biggest muffler man variations that I think I've ever seen. And I thought it was worth a stop to show you. But let's get back on the road. Thanks for joining me on my journey from Wisconsin to Texas and back. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe or ring that bell icon up above so you know when I post new videos. I'm Mark, and this is The Average Me Channel.